I want to show you what a group of my students did as a project in anatomy and physiology. Uh, we've been playing around with Minecraft EDU and um, heard them talking about Minecraft one day in class and just kind of had this idea that um, I wanted to start exploring some ways to use Minecraft EDU in the classroom and they were expressing a little bit of an interest in playing Minecraft in their personal time so I thought hey why not let this group be sort of a guinea pig for me so uh, it's four boys and I gave them the option of building a body part out of uh, in Minecraft world and this is what they came up with is this incredibly large uh, incredibly beautiful model of a human heart so let me fly over here and I'll show you that blood comes into the right side of the heart through two veins the superior vena cava there on top and if we come down it's not labeled but you've got the inferior vena cava right here which goes up and those two veins bring deoxygenated blood which they've represented with uh, water because it's blue brings deoxygenated blood up to this chamber which is in the upper right quadrant of the heart in that chamber you see they've got it labeled as the right atrium when the atria contract it moves blood oops sorry blood is moved through a valve and you see that valve here the tricuspid valve um, so the tricuspid valve then allows blood to pass down from the right atrium into this very large chamber on the right side of the heart which is the right ventricle then when the heart beats or the heart muscle contracts that blood is moved up and out through the pulmonary valve and eventually up and out through a very large artery called the pulmonary artery which is going to take blood to uh, the right it's going to branch off and take blood to the right and the left lungs um, the blood gets oxygenated comes back to the heart through this series of and they don't have these labeled because they're smaller through this series of oops just through something of pulmonary arteries so there's two there on that side and then you can see there's also a couple over here on the other side but the pulmonary arteries bring oxygenated blood which typically your textbook represents oxygenated blood as red so they've chosen to use lava <laughs> which I think is really awesome um, but that's oxygenated blood that oxygenated blood that comes back from the lungs collects here in the left atrium again same as on the right side we had a right atrium now on the top of the left side we have a left atrium from there the blood moves down through another valve the pulmonary valve or I'm sorry the bicuspid valve so you have the tricuspid valve on the right bicuspid valve on the left and then the blood moves down into the largest chamber of the heart which is the left ventricle and then when the heart beats that blood from the left ventricle is pushed up and out to the body through this very large largest artery in the body here the aorta and you see that the hallmark of the aorta is it forms a loop it comes up out of the heart right there goes across and then ends up traveling down uh, to provide blood to the body so you've got a full heart here the major structures are all there what I really like about this, what I really think is cool, is they actually made the valves here work. So if we click this lever, you see there that the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve are both closed. If we, if we go ahead and activate this lever, you see that those valves actually open. And now you can see the blood on the right side of the heart and also the blood over here on the left side of the heart. Those valves are open, so the blood is able to now pass through the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve just like it would if the heart was actually beating which I think is is incredibly cool so uh, yeah that's that's what they did uh, really proud of this group of, of boys didn't know what they were gonna do again gave them an opportunity to kinda of be a guinea pig and to show me how we could use this program in an anatomy and physiology class at high school and they uh, they really came through and, and created an awesome little working, little working model of the 
human heart. So, proud of you guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. And uh, keep playing Minecraft.